Okay, everybody. We're on flat land. Zero to 60 timer. Let's see what we can get. Hello everyone, you are looking at my brand new 2013 Dodge Challenger RT. You may say, but Jesus freak, didn't you already have a red Dodge Challenger? Yes, I did. It was a 2012 SXT with the 305 horse V6. This car has the Hemi in it, hence the new RT stripes on this one. My other one did not have the RT numbers there, I mean uh, letters there but I did have the RT looking stripes. Just so you know, I'm not faking you out. This has the 5.7 liter V8, 370 horsepower, 390 foot pounds of torque. As you can see, Dodge did a great job with the retro styling as usual. This car is just amazing looking. One of the main selling points for this car when I first bought my V6 was the trunk. This car serves as an excellent everyday car. You can throw luggage in here, ice coolers, golf clubs, tons of groceries, you name it, whatever you want. The seats lay down. This car is probably the most practical, practical of all the pony cars. Let's go inside, we can see what the real differences are. My V6 was very nicely equipped and I had a lot of these features. So I'm going to point out some of the newer features. The V6 had the auto stick. This one has it, but it also has the aluminum paddle shifters, which is very nice. The V6 had steering wheel controls, but this one has the Uconnect stereo, where basically I can just hit the phone button and make a phone call. Let's see if my Bluetooth is still connected. Ready. Call Stephanie home. Calling Stephanie home. Okay, I'm going to turn that off so it doesn't turn off my radio. Plus, I didn't want her cell phone number to pop up there. It also streams my Pandora, my MP3 files, music files. All I have to do is stick my phone into the cradle, plug it in charge, everything's done wirelessly if i get a text message the car stereo will ask if it wants me to if i wanted to read it for me very very nice other than that it's pretty similarly equipped some of the other new bells and whistles i have is i now have the automatic head uh rear view mirror automatic headlamps i have fog lights on this car now um visors that have illuminated mirrors you know, that's pretty nice. Of course, this car has a zero to 60 timer built in like my other one did. The other one, the best time I ever had was 6.26, but I could only average five point, I mean, uh, 6.45 or 6.5. This car, the best I've had so far is 5.1. It's very impressive. I can consistently get 5.2. Other than that, it's an amazing car. There's a tremendous amount of horsepower. Once again, this car has the um, push button start. One other big selling feature on this car is my other car had traction control, but it did not have um, anti-lock brakes. This car has that, but it also has sport mode. If I were to turn it on, it tightens the suspension up. The V6 version, Performs nicely, but when you go on to a pretty good turn, you feel the wallow of the car. You feel the body roll. When you turn sport mode on, you don't get that. But if you turn it off, it rides like a touring car. This is a car that you jump in and you can drive to California and be absolutely comfortable in. Closing, I would like to offer that if you're on the fence between the SXT V6 version and the RT V8 version, definitely splurge. Go ahead and get the RT. You'll appreciate the much more dominant performance from the RT and the luxury features. Sure, you can load up an SXT close to this, but you'll never be able to get that true Hemi feeling. Either product is great. It just so happens the RT is much greater.